So, who are the richest people in Europe and what made them wealthy? 10. Vladimir Potanin, $27 billion He's the CEO of Interos, with a diverse variety of interests that includes everything from mining and metals to banking, retail, real estate, tourism, and technology. In the early to mid-1990s, with the death of the Soviet Union and the ensuing reformation of Russia, he earned a substantial wealth. And by participating in the controversial loans for share operation, he was able to grow his wealth. By the way, is he related to President Putin because they share the first name? Let's do our research on that. Anyway, aside from Nor Nickel, which manufactures palladium and nickel, he also has a significant ownership in Petrovac's farm and Nor Nickel, which are both publicly traded companies. 9. Alexei Mordashov, $29.1 billion He leads the World Steel Association WSA, which was established in 1965. He's also an investor at Rossiya Bank. The finance director of the Russian steel industry, Alexei Mordashov, invested in this firm and was later promoted to the position of chief executive officer. This company went on to become part of the Severstal Group. In 2018, he transferred his Nord Gold and TUI shares to a holding company, allowing his sons, Kirill and Nikita, to obtain more business experience and learn more about the world of business. The total value of the family's goods is $29.1 billion making Mordashov an extremely rich individual in today's world. 8. Len Blavatnik, $32 billion In Europe, Len Blavatnik, a philanthropist and businessman having dual citizenship in the United Kingdom and the United States, ranks among the wealthiest individuals. He made his fortune through his privately held multinational business institution, Access Industries, which invests in natural resources, real estate and media, chemicals and telecommunications, and venture capital in the United States, Latin America, Israel, and Europe. The debut of Warner Music in the United States in 2011 heralded the arrival of a whole new world of celebrities and their entourages. 7. Giovanni Ferrero, $35.1 billion Known to be among the richest people on the planet, Giovanni Ferrero is the son of Michelle Ferrero, who founded the multinational confectionery brand Ferrero. And now, he's the seventh richest person in Europe. After completing his schooling in the United States, he returned to Italy to work for his father's family business. In 1997, he and his brother Pietro were appointed to the position of CEO of Ferrero. When his brother died in 2011, he became the only CEO of the company and he handed over the title to Lapo Civiletti in 2017 after nominating him to the position. As a result of his father's death, he inherited full control of the corporation and, along with control, were also a couple of billion dollars. Wouldn't you love to have such a privilege? 6. Dieter Schwartz, $36.9 billion He's a German businessman who's the son of Josef Schwartz and is now the sixth richest person in Europe. In 1930, his father founded the Schwartz Group grocery chain business. Dieter Schwartz began working for his father's company as soon as he left high school. In 1977, he inherited complete control of the company and was appointed chairman and CEO of both the Kaufland, a hypermarket chain, and Lidl, a grocery store chain. Lidl came to the US in 2017, vowing to make customers rethink groceries. The majority of its locations are in Virginia, North and South Carolina. Dieta Schwartz also maintains complete control and is the effective owner of the Schwartz Group, which is held by a foundation and is officially a limited liability company. He also has his own foundation, the Dieta Schwartz Foundation, which supports science and research projects as well as education and daycare facilities for children. 5. Beat Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr. $39.2 billion Beat Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr are the next two on this wonderful stage of the super-rich. It was the children of Karl Albrecht Sr., who founded the Audi grocery store in Germany with his brother Theo Sr., that expanded the firm's reach after World War I. The company today operates in a number of countries throughout Europe, China, and Australia. After Karl Albrecht Sr. passed away in 2010, his children inherited his wealth, as well as their father's stake in the company. Currently, they have a combined net worth of 39 billion US dollars. 4. Francois Pinout, $42.3 billion As of 2022, Francois Pinout is the fourth wealthiest person in Europe. In addition, he serves as the CEO and chairman of Keering, a premium French products maintenance organization, formerly PPR. 
Similarly, he owns and manages Group Artemis, which is his French-language publishing organization. He attended the HEC School of Management, where he majored in Business Administration and Management. It's estimated that at the age of 84, he currently has a net worth of $42.3 billion as a result of PPR's acquisition of Boucheron, Balenciaga, and Alexander McQueen. 3. Francoise Betancourt Myers, $73.6 billion Francoise Betancourt Myers, a French author, is a member of the board of directors of L'Oréal SA, where she represents the company's interests. The organization's major shareholder, Liliane Betancourt, died in 2017 and left her estate to her only child, Francoise Betancourt Myers. Now, wouldn't you love to be in such a position? Liliane Betancourt was the organization's only stakeholder. So, her daughter, Francoise Betancourt Myers, is currently one of the world's wealthiest people, and she's ranked first on Forbes' list of the world's wealthiest female billionaires. The heiress to the world's most successful cosmetics firm, Betancourt Myers is most recognized for her academic achievements, meaning she also has a strong academic career. She's written books on Jewish-Christian relations as well as Greek mythology, both of which have received a great deal of attention. 2. Amancio Ortega, $77 billion He stands as the second wealthiest person in Europe, with a net worth of $77 billion. He's a former Zara chairman and commercial entrepreneur from Spain. He started his business empire in 1975 when he introduced his wife to Zara, and it's grown ever since. According to the most recently available information, he's expanded his influence to encompass companies such as Massimo Dutti, Zara Home, Oisho, Pull & Bear, Tempe, Stradivarius, and Bershka. 1. Bernard Arnault $158 billion Bernard Arnault, according to Forbes, is the wealthiest man in Europe. Being a commercial investor, art collector, and French investor, he's well-versed in all three fields. However, during the COVID-19 outbreak, sales of high-end products plummeted, resulting in a significant decrease in his fortune. But his wealth, which climbed to $158 billion on August 5, 2021, enabled him to restore his position as Europe's richest person, and he was once again ranked first on Europe's richest people list. He's one of LVMH's most senior executives, in charge of a collection of 70 firms that includes brands such as Louis Vuitton, Tiffany, and Sephora, among others. Isn't that impressive?